I am going to delete this particular customer table from here for a purpose. I'm going to click on delete and I will confirm it. Sorry, sorry, we've put in a lot of work to actually bring in this customer table, but right now I have to delete it for me to show you what you need to know. So the customer table is, is gone. If I click back right here, we can go to data and now we have to bring it back, CSV. So we choose customer lookup, double click it, or you can click on connect from here to import it. So give it some time, it's connecting. Now we have it here, so we can click on transform. So make sure you verify to see if all the data types are actually okay. So to remember data type, you just have to notice that 1.2 is actually decimal, currency, whole number, percentage, and time and date right here. So we are going to use this account. Uh, we just have to remove it. So, and customer address, we don't need it. So I'm going to get those two away from here. And now, instead of us to actually load to, we mistakenly click on this. What happens when we do this? Let us see what that is. So it's going to load to our worksheet. I told you that. So it's going to load into our worksheet. Now it's a mistake, a terrible mistake we've made. We don't want to push this into our worksheet. And now we are seeing it on sheet four. And if I scroll to this end, you can see we have the data sitting here. So if I scroll down, we have all the rows right here. So what do we do to take it back to Power Pivot? Very simple. Just come here, right click. So you're going to see where it says load to. So click on load to and here you have this back. So just click on only connection and add and load. So you're going to have this one in right here. So disabling load to worksheet will remove the table for this query. So from the worksheet, any customization or references you made to the table will be lost. Are you sure you want to continue? Just click on yes, then click on load. You see, it's going. So now we have a blank worksheet. I'm sorry, this worksheet, we don't mean to do this, tell you. So now you have your data right here right now inside the uh, power pivot. This is exactly what you need to do if you made that mistake to load your data into the worksheet. But please make sure you don't do this because if you have like 3 million rows of data, it's not going to actually, you know, uh, fit into this particular worksheet you have right here. So to avoid error or whatever, just make sure you load it to pop pivot by clicking on create connection only. What about this?